Over 150 days ago, I set up this interesting experiment with these four shrimp tanks. For the longest time, I've wanted to see what happens when you cross different colours of shrimp. For this experiment, I chose four colours of shrimp, and combined them as you can see. Of course, this is never going to be an accurate experiment, as we don't know the full genetic makeup of each of these shrimp. But just for fun's sake, I set them up to see what would happen. The rumour on the street is that when you cross shrimp colours, it creates brown and dull shrimp. But after running this experiment, the results are showing that this might not be true. For each individual tank, I selected out 5 of each colour of shrimp and mixed them together. Some tanks did really well, and now there's hundreds of shrimp in them, and some tanks faded away, with barely any shrimp being produced in the last few months. Each colony was set up in an 80 litre aquarium, and to make this experiment as simple as possible, I only added a sponge filter to each aquarium. My tap water is pretty good for neocaridina shrimp, so I didn't need to alter this at all. I just took water straight out of the tap and added a conditioner to remove the chloramines and chlorine. Another thing I should mention is that all these shrimp are in a heated room, and each tank is at 25 degrees. The first group we'll look at is this blue and yellow cross. This was a very successful mix. There would be a couple hundred shrimp in this aquarium now. I didn't quite know what to expect from this mix, and the thing this batch of shrimp taught me is that breeding shrimp isn't like mixing paint. You can't just take a blue and a yellow shrimp and expect it to make green. Yes, this might come out, but it all depends on the genetics, not the colours. So in this batch, we created yellow shrimp, we created blue shrimp, we created some interesting looking light blue shrimp, which I found pretty cool, and we also created these wild type looking things. All in all, this was a really interesting mix, and as I've been saying, just because my shrimp created these results doesn't mean yours will. It all depends on the genetic makeup of your shrimp. The thing in particular I find interesting is the different colours of blues. There are some really, really light blue shrimp in here, as well as some deep, almost navy coloured shrimp, as well as the classic blue dreams. The wild type shrimp are also quite interesting. Normally, I'd expect these to be a little bit more brown, but it seems that they have more of a black base. Okay, so the next group is the blue and orange mix. I actually ended up getting a bunch of really shrimp. Really shrimp have quite an interesting pattern, and you can see it really well displayed here. So these are all orange really shrimp, and I actually love these little guys. They've got a clear base, and their eggs are like neon, and they're probably one of the coolest shrimp I found out of this batch. There's also a large variety of other shrimp, so I did get some wild type shrimp, again with the black base, not the brown. I got some blue shrimp, I got lots and lots of orange shrimp, I also did just get some clear ones, and yeah, just in general a pretty good mix. These did breed really well for me, I didn't run into any major issues, and they were definitely more prolific than the group you saw before, so very interesting. And these definitely provided one of the coolest mixes in the whole experiment. Okay, so in the tank next door we have the red and yellow mix, so this was pretty much a fail. I actually did struggle with this group, and this isn't really a fair experiment on this mix, I'll have to do this again in the future, but this colony just crashed, and in all honesty, they're just throwing out reds. I haven't really found any mixes in here, they're all just like that Bloody Mary colour, and they're actually really high quality reds, which is really interesting, but Again, there's no real mixes going on in here, so we'll probably just skip past this group. And then in the final tank, we have the most prolific group of all of them, and this is the red and orange mix. The oranges must have a really strong bloodline, because the mixes with orange just seem to do the best. I'm still getting oranges and reds out of this group. I've got a few yellowy looking shrimp, but they still look more orange than they do yellow. And there is just some really cool looking shrimp in here. The red and orange shrimp must be closely related because I'm also getting these like shades coming out. So there's some lighter oranges, there's some dark reds, like this tank out of all looks the most like mixed paint. So it's very, very interesting. This group definitely bred the most. There would be close to 300 shrimp in here. There's babies all over the place, constantly eating. And this is probably the most interesting tank to look at in the entire experiment. There's just always something going on. But yeah, I guess that wraps it up. So this was a very interesting experiment. I'm definitely going to do more videos like this in the future and just play around with some of the genetics of different things. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.